ChatGPT just dropped a little hidden feature that not many people are talking about and it changes the way you're going to use this tool forever. With this feature enabled, you can literally within ChatGPT.com message people to your Slack, post directly to things like LinkedIn, even use Appify, which allows you to run automations and scrape things like LinkedIn, Google My Business and TikTok comments and Instagram. It just expands the use of ChatGPT so, so much. And it's very, very simple to set up. In this video, I'm gonna show you the whole process and how you can do it and start using ChatGPT like an absolute pro today. So the way it works is quite simple. We are essentially going to connect GPT with an MCP, multi-context protocol, if you don't know what that is, um, that is going to verify and connect all the applications we want for us directly to ChatGPT. So it's gonna have access to all these tools. And the way that we do that is by using rube.com. Very, very easy to use. So the first thing you need to do though, is go to your ChatGPT account and you need to enable this section. So you need to go to your uh, settings in the connectors. You need to scroll all the way down. You need to go to advanced settings. By default, this developer mode, which is in beta, is switched off. So you need to enable that. That's step one, right? The next step is you see that if I go to a developer mode, uh, you see I've got the Rube master connection. I've got my Webflow website connected, WordPress, YouTube, and a bunch more things. Now, I've tried the Webflow and the WordPress connector and they don't work that well. They're a little bit clunky, but I'm just excited that they're actually starting to connect these things. Imagine writing a blog post directly from ChatGPT and saying, great, now post it on my website. But we want this Rube master connection. It's really, really easy to do. But I've just deleted it so I can start again with this. We're gonna go to Rube. You need to create an account, which is free by the way. Uh, and we're going to search through the applications or browser the apps that we want to connect. So for example, let's try connecting your Slack and LinkedIn. So here, the LinkedIn one, I'm gonna enable the application and you can use Connect LinkedIn via the Compose Manage Authentication app or by your own developer app, which is gonna go the recommended way and it's going to authenticate everything for us. You'll need to sign into your LinkedIn account Perfect, so now you see all the tools that it has access to. It's got create a LinkedIn post, delete a LinkedIn post, get company info, get my info. You can't do too many searches on it, but that's okay. So just with that, let's see if we can install it and test that out and do a post to my LinkedIn account. What you're gonna do is go install Rube up here. We're going to select the chat GPT section here and go to developer mode. And all we gotta do is copy this one here. We're gonna go back to chat GPT and you can either access this in the back end or you can just go to developer mode by going to more, adding sources, or we're gonna connect more sources. And you're gonna have this new connector. The custom tool, we're going to say uh, Rube Master Connection. I'm not gonna add a description and I'm going to paste the URL that I got given before. Authentication, uh, I'm gonna trust this application. It's still in beta, by the way. I uh, would try to not put any, as always, any uh, private information and I'm going to create here. Perfect, so this is going to ask you to log in to your Rube account, which you want to use, obviously the same account that you used to, you want to use the same email that you used to make an account with. Perfect, so now ChatGPT <laughs> would like access to your account and additional information, you need to allow access. Cool, so I've got the master connection now, Rube master connection successfully connected. Great, so, now in Rube, I should have, if I go to the My Organization, uh, I go to Account Settings, Apps, I see the apps that I've got kind of installed within my Rube account. So I should be able to post to LinkedIn right away. So let's just see here what I've got uh, in my LinkedIn account. What was the last message in LinkedIn? Cool, you see my last post was um, about a massive three hour course that we did uh, on how to do SEO in 2025. That was three weeks ago, right? That's the latest post that I've done. So uh, let's go to ChatGPT. Um, I've got the developer mode selected. With developer mode selected, I'm going to go to add the sources. I got to select the right one. So I'm going to select the Rube master connection. These are the connections. Don't worry about them. I've just been testing these out for this video and finding an easy way. So I want to go uh, create a LinkedIn post for my LinkedIn account saying, hi all, I'm testing this for a YouTube video. I'm posting this directly from chatgpt.com. 
Perfect, so now it's looking for the available tools that we've given it with that root connection. We need to confirm this. Unfortunately, you gotta confirm them all the time or every time you use it in a new application, but that's okay. And it's called the tool. Let's just see what it's using here. Perfect. So it's just saying your LinkedIn account is uh, connected and ready. The post will read, uh, yes, go for it. Being very safe, you can probably say in the private instructions or in the custom instructions to just post things, don't ask. I'm going to confirm again. Cool. So I had to prompt it a couple of times, but that's okay. And it says, view your live posts here. Let's have a look. Boom. Hi all, I'm testing this for a YouTube video. I'm posting directly from chatgpt.com and I didn't type that on LinkedIn. Uh, incredible. So you might be writing your weekly post, for example, um, and then you can post this directly to your LinkedIn account without going to ChatGPT. Now, picture this, if you marry this with a scheduling feature, you can do a lot of your work directly from ChatGPT. So now the other one, what about your Slack account, right? So I need to go back to Rube and make sure um, that I've got in my account, uh, my account settings that I've got connected the Slack account. If I go to apps, it's obviously very, very easy to connect. Much like we just went through with LinkedIn and all the things that you can do here. It's got a total of 23 pages of everything that it can do. So for example, um, let's say in that same conversation, uh, I'm gonna say, great, now can you give that LinkedIn post to Adela uh, in Slack, please? So now I'm joining two connections. I wonder if this is gonna work. So it should show up there in my last account. I've tested this before the video. I've sent her a um, message from ChatGPT just saying, hey, hi from ChatGPT. But I wanna, I wanna see if, yeah, uh, perfect, yes. Cool, now you can see that it figured it out. Uh, it sent a message to the person that I wanted to saying, here's LinkedIn post. And if I view that one, it should be the same LinkedIn post here. Beautiful, so. <laughs> It kind of did what I asked it to do. Now, it wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I had to kind of tell it a couple of times to do that. As you can see here, like, hey, it's her, it's her, it's her. But once it can do that, it has no trouble kind of doing it again. So it still needs a little bit of improvement, but considering this is iteration one of having all these MCPs connected to your ChatGPT account, it's kind of crazy. Now, the one that I think is very, very useful and a bit mind blowing is using Appify. So Appify allows you to scrape the web and do automations, but you need to remember that ChatGPT, for example, doesn't natively have access to uh, TikTok and it can't, unless you give it the agents feature, but that's something else anyway, uh, it can't go through the comments and get all that information or it can't really, it has trouble going through the YouTube videos, transcripts. I can scrape here hundreds of really useful things including like job scrapers from LinkedIn, uh, Facebook ad library scraper, so I can see what my competitor's doing and a bunch of different things, right? So what if I could connect Appify to my ChatGPT account and that's essentially what I can do. So what we're gonna try is to run this one, the TikTok scraper. So the only thing that you need to know is you need to know the names of what's called the actors. And the actors are the automations within Appify because that's what you are calling it by name within ChatGPT. So for example, uh, let's go through my TikTok account and see which video we want to scrape all the comments to, right? We're gonna go to my profile um, and let's see uh, a video that has gotten, you know, 389 comments before, right? I'm gonna grab this. Now, remember, you need to know the name of the actor that we're calling. So I'm gonna start a brand new chat. I'm in the developer mode still, and I'm going to make sure we've got the developer mode. I've got the Rube master connection. Within Rube, I connected Appify, right? And that was very, very simple to do. So for example, I'm just gonna disconnect this and show you how to connect it again. Uh, just so we can go through it. I can go to uh, browser apps. I can search here, Appify. I'm going to go to connect. Now you need an API token. Let's get the token from Appify. This seems a little bit complex, but it really isn't, trust me. Once you, you wanna create a free account with um, Appify and it's going to actually give you $5 free credit to run pretty much any automations that you want. 
and within your settings, you want to find the personal API token. That is the token we're going to place into Appify, into um, Rube, apologies here, the Appify token. I'm going to connect, I've blurted out, blurted out for security purposes, obviously. And it says here, account uh, successfully connected. So it was initiating, connecting, connecting, and now it's connected. So perfect, I should be able to use practically all the scrapers which in with is within Appify, which is actually bananas. So, like I said, you need to know the name of the actor or the actual scraper. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to ChatGPT and I'm going to go, okay, uh, please call Appify and the actor called TikTok Scraper, for example, and get the comments from this uh, TikTok video. And I'm going to get that and paste it into ChatGPT. Hopefully this will work in this video. I tested it earlier and it was running. Um, hence why I understand that you actually need to name the actor from Appify. So <laughs> if you've got a video that's got too many comments, it's gonna have a bit of an issue with getting all that data. So I tried it with another one. Uh, and it seemed to work fine. The one that had a lot less comments. So let me show you here the video. Uh, this one was only had about da, 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 four comments. Now I know that might not be worth it for you, but I just want to show you that it does work in the end. I've got here um, the comments. Let's just double check that it's actually correct. So one comment said, uh, South Star 40% can't be true. Let's go back here and it's South Star 40% can't be true. And it's even got my response. I appear of your article. I'm not trying to convince you, just demonstrating what it is. A guy didn't believe what I was saying, apparently. Um, it's a peer review article. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just demonstrating what it is. So it's the comments from that video. Really, really cool stuff. I think obviously at the moment, it's still a tiny bit clunky, but the fact that this is starting to be possible is absolutely amazing. We'll keep it nice and simple there. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video, that would really help out. Let me know how you would start using this tool, this connection. I'd love to know in the comments below. Cheers.